Time takes a toll on everyone they say. Peace, y'all. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be doing a Bantu knot out on my locks, and I'm just going to cover my entire head with them. I'm using this spray bottle with water and Jamaican black castor oil. I'm also going to be using some straight Jamaican black castor oil to apply to my scalp when everything is done and twisted up. And I'm going to be using Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter. This is my first time using this product, so I just want you guys to see how it comes out as well and i'll be using just some black rubber bands to secure the knots so what i'll start off is with spraying my entire head just to make sure it's nice and damp so i'm going to saturate my hair a lot just to get it, that moisture locked in it will dry throughout the process of putting these knots in but for now it's just to like moisturize it early on and i'm going to work it into my scalp work it through the locks and just make sure all that water is getting deep into my hair and penetrating so to do the actual bantu knot i'm going to reinforce my twist so i'm going to twist my locks in the direction that they're normally twisted i'm just doing a twirl around my finger to make sure that it's tight from the root on out and then after that I'll start twisting the strands together like a two strand twist and then just like a normal bantu knot I'm going to wrap the knot around itself and secure it with a rubber band and I'm just going to go through my whole head and do that the same thing I'll make sure I'm using the lock method so I'm going to use the liquid mix first it's liquid and oil so that's kind of a two-in-one but it's the liquid mix the oil and then the cream which is the twisting butter and I'm just going to do my entire head with these bantu knots and I'll let you guys see it when it's done So really quick here, I'm just showing you guys how my hair is still in the budding phase of locking. It's the part where the hair is starting to mat up and poof up in some areas. And it's just an essential part of the locking process. Other than that, I'm still twisting and doing the bantu knots, making sure you're only using a little bit of product. So as not to accumulate too much buildup, you want just enough to saturate the hair and hold the stop. all right and all the knots are in this is the finished product it looks kind of crazy but i mean if y'all have the face for it and the head shape size and all that in the makeup and all that then you could probably go out and rock this style like just like this for as long as you want to until you want to take the knots out so yeah that's what it looks like when you're done doing the knots before i take it down and then i'll show you guys how it looks when i take it down okay so i wore the knots on my hair for two days before finally taking them down which you can go a lot longer if you want the curl to be tighter or last longer but i just went two days because i was in the house anyway so now i'm just applying some more of the jamaican black castor oil just to moisturize the locks and i'm going to apply that to my scalp initially and i'll pull it down through the locks throughout the process of undoing them so I'm going to start off just removing the rubber bands from all of the knots um, because I'm weird like that. 
<laughs> so that's going to be the first step and then i'll go through and unravel all of the knots you want to be very careful not to be rough with the removal of the rubber bands just because you don't want to get your hair tangled up and you don't want to cause any breakage to your hair that's unnecessary so just keep that in mind be careful with that All right, so needless to say, with any twist out, band to knot out, braid out, whatever, you're gonna experience a lot of shrinkage. So as long as you're comfortable with your locks being a little shorter than what you're used to, then keep watching this video and give this style a try. So now I'm just unraveling the twist. And being very careful not to like mess up at the root where I try to reinforce my own lock. Now normally I don't do my own retwist, but in this case it kind of reinforced the in-between retwist. So highly recommend. Okay, so here's the finished product. This is all unraveled and um, it looks a lot shorter. It took me a while to kind of get used to the look because it's so much shorter, but I really like it. I know I'm going to do this style again. Comment below. Well, give the video a like if you do like the style. And comment below if you're going to try it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. The style lasted a few days because i was out in humidity and running and sweating and all this stuff so it knocked the curls out pretty quickly but i think if i had kept the knots in longer or maybe used a little bit more product then it would have lasted me a little while longer so i would definitely be trying this style again if you guys like it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you share this video thank y'all so much for watching see you in the next video peace